Oh boy. Oh man. Today, bro, today was a wonderful day. Today was awesome. Today was awesome. Today was great. Um, you know, I put up my Eminem video, it's doing very well right now. You know, I actually launched a little side business that you guys not gonna know about now, but you will in the future once it starts uh, taking off. And today we found out that Jada was giving the cheeks up to August Alcina this whole time. We thought he was capping. We thought he was capping, but no, he wasn't capping, man. He wasn't capping at all, man. Dang, man. Everything. We we used to we used to look at Jada and Will's relationship, and we used to be like, "This is the pinnacle. They are perfect." perfect couple this is where you strive for all those all those other people out there that's getting the voices up this is what you strive for but no no they had they had their problems too so i don't know first of all when it comes to marriage i'm already not i don't i, I don't really believe in this shit but that's a whole nother video we can talk about that but today Jada and Will, they had a sit down at the red table i never heard about the red table talk actually Think about it. I I mean, I didn't know that was Red Table Talk. I know Jada had her own, like, show and shit. So, I guess it's her show. I was going to do a video just recapping. Because I thought that, you know, I was had to sit through the whole 40 minutes. But when I can't really find the whole 40-minute video anyway um, on YouTube. But there is this six-minute clip. And I guess this is really just the the main part, uh, part of the video that we really care about anyway. Well, first of all, remember, we flexing out here. Yeah, flexing, flexing. Yeah, yeah, nigga, I'm flexing. Yeah, yeah, they cannot test me. I was a part of the lesson. He's so good, man, ain't no stressing. Boss on hearts is an adolescent. King in his bitch, man, ain't no peasant. First year here, man, ain't no freshman. Bitch, I'm My flexing. niggas be flexing. They be finessing. My niggas ain't stressing. Yeah, man, once again, 410 flexing on every uh, streaming platform right now. Doing numbers on uh, Spotify. Make sure you guys... um. You know, you like it, check it out, man. Peace, uh, support your boy, bro. So we, uh, we out here, man. Anyway, leave a like. Make sure you comment on the video. Make sure you do all that stuff. Subscribe if you are entertained. Um, I'm always at 1800. Um, we right there. We're only like 10 subs away. So let's get to this video. Anyway, guys, let's get to this video. <sighs> I am red here. It's a situation that I consider private. You just feel like it ain't really nobody, no, nobody nobody's business. business yeah, but yeah. But now Black Twitter has claimed <laughs> it as their business. Oh it's, oh, it's our business now. Oh, nah. We all a part of this. We all in this together. Okay? We we watched you guys go from who you was back in the 90s, you know, just, you know, stars in the making to where you're at now. We saw your kids. Other uh, than the one that Will was hiding. Uh, we saw all your kids grow up. We been with you guys. This is our business. We care. But, <laughs> Fuck out you of know, I, I think um, you need to say clearly what happened. As far as what? You and I decided we were going to take our space and what happened. Yeah, and then I got into an entanglement with... Yeah, that, 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 that goes that word, entanglement. Nah, he was tangling you up. That's what August, that's what I said. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A relationship. Yes, it was yeah. a relationship. Absolutely. I was in a lot of pain, and I was very broken. Now, in the process of that relationship, I definitely realized that you can't find happiness outside of yourself. Mm -hmm. And luckily enough, you and I were also going through a process of healing in a much different manner. Mm -hmm. I would definitely say we did everything that we could to get away from each other, only to realize that that mm -hmm. wasn't possible. So, it? so what happened, Jada? Okay. Oh yeah, please. So let's start with. I, I, I'm, I'm asking just, just like Will's asking, what the fuck you did? I want to know all. I guess details. about four and a half years ago. It's gonna be painful, but it's gonna make you feel better at the same about time. About four and a half, four years ago, mm -hmm. um, started a friendship with August. Ah, that's how I was and 
we actually became really, really good friends. Oh, yeah. And it mm -hmm. all started with him just needing some help, mm -hmm. you know, me wanting to help his health, his mental state. Oh, come on, man. This is some bullshit, bro. This is some bullshit. Like, I can already tell. Like, she don't really want to say what she want to say. Like, we, we know what the fuck happened. Just say this shit. Yes, for me, that was the thing when I, when... Um, when Aug first came around, he was, he was... Dang! Dang, this man... Oh, man. You know how the fuck that is there? So he called them Aug, meaning they were... They were boys! They were boys, man! You just go on coming to the house, and then... Really he was sick. sick. He was really, you know? really sick, yeah. And the outpouring for him from our family was... Uh, initially about his health. Yeah. Bro, so, okay, I didn't hear, so, I didn't hear, like, August Alcina's, as, um, I think he made a song, this is what, when all this shit came about, about it, and everybody was saying, oh, Jada took advantage of my man, so, wait, he really was, he really was, he really was taking advantage of, like, that's even worse. And I mean, we found all those different resources, mm -hmm. you know, to help pull them through. Mm -hmm. And from there, you know, you and I were going through a very difficult time. Yeah. And we decided. I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked me to I the curb. I was done with you. Yeah. <laughs> we Marriages have that, though. Yeah, Marriages have that. Yeah, we basically, mm -hmm. we broke up. We decided that we were going to separate for a period of time and you go figure out how to make yourself happy and i'll figure out how to make myself happy. well at that particular point in time it was indefinite yeah i really felt like we could be over yeah know? no and, we were over and then what did you do oh we were over oh was well, she in her mind she yeah. well you know i think from there you know, as time went on, oh I got God. into a different kind of entanglement. Oh, mm -hmm. shut up with August that word. What? Launched into an interaction mm -hmm. with August. What do you feel like um, you were looking for? I just wanted to feel good. Mm -hmm. It had been so long since I, mm -hmm. since I felt good. Mm -hmm. And it was really a joy to just help heal somebody this is some bullshit bro like she's yo she make me mad yeah. i think that has a lot to do with my codependency which is another thing that i had to learn to break in this cycle just mm. that idea of needing to fix and being drawn to people that need help whether it's your health or whether it's your addictions mm -hmm. there's something about that childhood trauma mm -hmm. um, that feels as though it can be fixed through fixing people mm -hmm. versus fixing me. Yeah. And I think that that whole process with Aug really showed me that Some and taught me And then she called them all. And I'm really grateful for that lesson. Because I wasn't sure I was ever going to speak to you again. I know, I know. Yeah, like... The fact that I'm speaking to you again is a, <laughs> is a miracle. Um, <laughs> I would agree. I would no, agree. No, but it ain't for the weak at heart. There's just certain things that you have to go through, and it's like... And I wish, you know, I wish that wasn't the case. <laughs> I do. I, I wish that I'm wasn't sure, the hey, case. I sure wish it could be all magic and miracles. Yeah. You got to go through some to get the answers. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm just happy because no. I definitely believe that you and I, we never, ever, ever thought that we would make yeah, it back. Yeah, there's a real power in the, the just knowing somebody's riding with you no matter what. Yeah. And you really can't know that. Oh, that's the movie will right there. He got he got extra service. And to go and through through some stuff, you know. I don't want to go through this no more. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. either. Yeah. I'm going to get you back first. Ah. Then... You got ah. me back. I think you got me back. <laughs> I think you... <laughs> See, yo, I knew I was going... I was about to say, I was like, so who who Will was... Um, who who Will got into? Yo, y'all, yo, 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 who, who, who was Will? Uh, you know, I know he, he got a couple... 
he got a couple. So I'm like, man, at the end of the day, if, if we can bring it back full circle, we got to go around the circle a couple times just to bring it back. That's cool with me, too. I think we're good on that, okay? <laughs> Look at him, down ass glasses. That's, that's probably true. That's you know, true. um, and I don't think that's it's about getting anybody back. No, for me it is. Okay. Um, I'm giving you that petty, <laughs> that's what you want. <laughs> Uh, um, but, shit. you know, I will definitely say mm -hmm. it's just part of it. Yeah. You know, if you expect to be with somebody for a lifetime. 25 years and counting. Mm. We ride together. We, we die, die together. together. Bad, Bad marriage, marriage for, for life. life. Hey, yo. <laughs> 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 That's terrible. Yes, it it's is. It's the truth. It's the it's truth. The truth. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, it's just part of the journey. I told you the first year we were were married. What'd you tell me? That I can love you through anything. And I didn't believe you. Yeah. If somebody looked through a crystal ball and said this, 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 and this is gonna happen, I'd be right. like. No uh, way. Yeah. You thought I was that that I didn't have the girth that it was going to take to ride with I you didn't, through. Yeah, I didn't know if you would be willing to find the deep capacity to love me. Yeah. How am I doing? You doing great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're awesome. Mm. It's a situation. All right. So, what what do I think about? This whole thing, bro. What the? What do I think? I think they've been fucking around for the longest time, and it's just different that it was August Alcina because of how, but you know, close they. I think he was to the family, and it's just. I think he he probably was probably was somebody that was supposedly off limits in a way, and Jada said. When we was at our lowest of lows, fuck the limits. Fuck them limits. Fuck it. Like, I mean, people do crazy things when they're mad. Like, sometimes you gotta, when you're mad, you, you know, you just, you, when you're mad, you just gotta, like, take some deep breaths and think shit over before you do anything. Like, because when you're mad about something, you'll do whatever. You'll do whatever. You'll do the dumbest shit in your life. But anyway. Yeah, um, this was, um, this is awesome. This is fucking awesome. Peace out.